What's up, y'all? It's Nate Almighty, a.k.a. The Global Dark Skin Ambassador, a.k.a. Ball Men Do It Better, okay? And I'm back with another Power Book 2 Ghosts Season 4 Theory. Let's talk about Black Dahlia. Now, if you're an avid, you're an avid Power Universe fan like me, then you have already seen the very first episode of Power Book 4 Force Season 2, Episode 1. And unexpectedly, the ingredients to make Dahlia has been exposed all over the internet, thus making Dahlia way less powerful than it would have been, than we all expected going into season two. So the question is this, is Dahlia over in the power universe? Have we heard the last of Dahlia? Is it a wrap for Dahlia? Does this mean that we for sure will not see Dahlia make his crossover into the book two universe. Now, let's talk about the possibilities for both sides happening, okay? Me personally, right now, I'm caught up somewhere in between it because although, yes, Black Dahlia making the internet and then they already said that there's already multiple people putting Dahlia on the street, even though they say that, that could, it basically depends on how the writers want to write it. Dahlia cannot be a factor, but it could still be a factor being that it hit the internet. So maybe we didn't see the last of Dahlia. Maybe we haven't heard the last of Dahlia. Being that it's on the internet, that means people in Chicago could learn the ingredients of Dahlia. That also means people in New York could learn the ingredients to Dahlia and then find a lab somewhere and make it. Now, if we're talking about Power Book 2 and we're talking about Tariq and and Brayden and everyone else, it would not be hard for them to find a laboratory somewhere. It would not be hard. Also, it's even easier for them to get access to Dahlia without Tariq and Brayden having to go to Chicago to talk to Tom. By the way, I don't believe that we're even going to see Tommy in season uh, four of Ghost. Maybe at the end, because we know that the police are working on something. So maybe Tommy is going to have to ask Tariq a favor. And I will talk about that favor in an upcoming video in relation to Tariq probably having to kill Blanca, right? Or at least have enough evidence on her to where she will have to work on their side, right? But here's the thing, how Dahlia could work is we all know Tariq's gonna need money. Tariq is in the middle of a war that he didn't ask to be in. He's gonna need money, he's gonna need a new way of getting money. Now, if he chooses to go to all the Ivy League schools that he had with uh, Effie, That means that Effie, who's an op, she knows where he's going to pick up his money at. She knows where he's going to be. And it'd be easy for him to get his head popped off. And we all know Tariq is the one person who's definitely not going to die next season. So in the midst of him needing to make some money, somehow, some way, they could come across the information of this brand new drug, Dahlia, which would be easy for them to access because it's on the internet then the writers can make it so they can find somebody to make this drug and then it could get experimental and then it could get interesting because now since everyone's making Dahlia there's competition for Dahlia who's gonna be the person to make a bad batch of Dahlia that's gonna kill people because an ill storyline that I already predicted, which people say is far-fetched, which is that Effie is going to make a bad batch of Dahlia and it's going to kill white kids in Ivy League schools. And that's what's going to make Dahlia become a big manner of importance of having to be dealt with within the NYPD, within Power Book 2 Ghosts. But it doesn't have to be Dahlia. I mean, it doesn't have to be Effie. It could be anyone else. We know that Tariq's not going to be cooking. Brayden's not going to be cooking. 
But who knows? Braden, who who's a daredevil and he's a thrill seeker, he may he may see the pros and he may find it thrilling to learn how to make Dahlia himself. So it could be any one of these characters who chooses to cook and put the wrong ingredient in the Dahlia trying to stretch it and it causes a bad chemical reaction and people die. I'm trying to see like Night of the Living Zombies. I'm trying to see people like get sores on their body for smoking a bad batch of Dahlia and, and, and passing out in the street. You know what I'm saying? Or people coming up dead and they don't know why, but they attach it to Dahlia. These are different ways that Dahlia can still become a factor in season four of Ghost. But also, being that it's on the internet, we don't know. The writers may have only intended for Dahlia to have a, a real matter of importance for season one of Power Book Four Force. It's very possible. But then again, you got a question. This brand new drug that had everybody going crazy in season one. Why would they just make it um, less significant in season two? Maybe it's because it's going to be less significant in season two. But in season four of Ghost, it'll actually become a thing. You never know. But we can end this here. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Is Black Dahlia over within the Power Universe? Or do you think it'll still find this way to New York? Being that now it's easier for it to come across Tariq's path without him having to talk to Tommy. Or without him, you know, being a part of those theories where they say he may run into D-Mac or somebody and that's how he'll get his hands on Black Dahlia. Which would have him having to go to Chicago. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.